in this video we'll be looking at some of the pros and cons of using waist trainers to kind of curve our waist and give that slimmer waistline <music> Hello, it's Fitness Freak here to inspire you to build a consistent fitness lifestyle. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please don't even waste any second. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads from me. Waist training is one of the most controversial fitness trends. Celebrities have been showing off their waist trainers on social media and everybody is like, yay, get me one, I want one, give me one, I want to be like Kim K, I want to be like all them celebrities with thin waistline, making waist training an even bigger trend. And even the number of people that are researching waist trainers have spiked. I'll share nine tips to help you make the most of your waist training journey later in this video. So you might I want to stick around to the end for that another name for waist trainers is waist trimmer they are stretchable but some are not breathable and they work with the mechanism of trapping heat to burn fats but that's in theory so to answer the question does it work in helping you lose weight the answer is yes and no it will help you lose water weight for the time that you are wearing it to make it look good did you know that to lose just one kg of fat you need to burn like seven thousand calories i mean like think about it even if you wrap your entire body in waist trainers i don't see you burning seven thousand calories within like the twinkle of an eye or even by wearing waist trainer for 24 hours do you really think you'd burn seven thousand calories but i can give you a simple technique that can work if you work out in a day and burn 500 calories and repeat Repeat that for seven days that's 3500 calories repeat that for two weeks and then that's 7000 calories you have yourself a whooping one kg of fat already burned whoop, 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 whoop. and of course combining it with a good diet sleeping well and every other thing that comes with weight loss would even make you burn more fat in that two week period that is not going to come back it will be off for good so long as you maintain that your good lifestyle okay guys so jokes apart there are several types of waist trainers you have the steel flexi ones the ones where the steel inside is really flexible and then the steel ones that are like set like that are really strict and cannot bend or shake shake or twist or turn those ones are really the extreme ones waist training is fairly safe not entirely safe the really flexible ones may not have the strength to move your bones but you have some that the steel inside like corsets are so thick that they actually tend to move your ribs you're supposed to have bones protecting your key organs and that's why your rib cage goes so low to protect your kidney your liver your spleen so these extreme types of waist trainers actually bend your ribs and crush it so that they now stay in a new position forever theoretically it could even rotate your uterus and now make you have fertility issues in the long run it's just a theory don't quote me on this some people go as far as you need to do intense workouts so it could actually constrict your lungs and now prevent you from taking deep breaths this quest for a slimmer waistline eh? <laughs> some people even go as far as removing a rib just so that the waistline can actually uh, so you have like, I don't know whether it's two fingers like this round your wrists. <sighs> that's so extreme in my opinion but who am i to judge the flexible ones may not have that strength to actually move your bones but they will just mold your fat and disperse it upwards and downwards so that it can cinch your waist bear in mind that after you have a successful waist training the results are not permanent you actually have to waist train every once in a while to maintain that figure so don't be surprised if you go months without waist training and your fat now goes back to the way it was i've not used waist trainers before but i can't can't say i won't use it in future it might come in handy especially after giving birth just take this entire video as my disclaimer do with your body what you want to do with it if you want to use it use it every now and then maybe before you go out and you want to get into something really nice you can just throw it on and just mold the fat to the way you want it to be before you step out of the house with that said chat me up with the email in my description box to get this awesome flexible comfortable waist trainer at the most affordable price 
price in the market like i promised at the beginning of this video these are nine tips that you need to employ to make your waist training worth it first of all know the right measurement of waist trainer that you need for your body measure your waist before you put it on and after you put on your waist trainer measure it again but this time the measurement should be one inch less than what you measured before you had the waist trainer on secondly wear a thin material between your waist trainer and your skin this for two reasons the first reason is that you won't get to wash your waist trainer as often as you would because of sweat and then the second reason is that you will protect your skin from being injured from the friction of the waist trainer on your skin so that you don't have like all those irritations that come when something brushes your skin for too long number three the best time to wear a waist trainer is in the morning before you eat the tummy is usually flat just after you wake up and it will be very easy to put a waist trainer on it's harder to put it on later in the day after you are eating and you might have been bloated take it just a simple tip from me number four on the first day of getting your waist trainer wear it for only two hours in fact if it's in the night that you get it don't bother just leave it till the next day and wear it for two hours after that day the next day you want to add on an extra two hours and wear it for four hours and then you continue to add on extra two hours with each passing day that you're wearing the waist trainer until you wear it for a maximum of eight hours please don't wear a waist trainer in a day for more than eight hours i know it's very easy to take things to the extreme we are humans you don't want your body to get too dependent on it and then your spine will now not be able to function without the waist trainer and that leads me to the next point don't sleep with your waist trainer for your own safety a lot of things go on during the sleep cycle that you are not consciously aware of and the last thing anybody would want is to get to a point maybe where you're hyperventilating and you need to breathe and you have a waist trainer cinching your waist i wouldn't recommend that so please wear your waist trainer only when you are awake and conscious avoid wearing your waist trainers to do abdominal exercises high intensity interval trainings and any exercise that makes you to breathe profusely i'm sure this is going to be very different from what you've typically heard but the truth is that your diaphragm expands when you're taking deep breaths and contracts when you breathe out it actually constricts the amount of oxygen getting to your cells that will subsequently be used to burn fat so it's like you're sabotaging the results of your workout at the same time wearing waist trainers thinking of helping yourself when you're working out and you're taking deep breaths it actually gives you energy to go on longer so if you would typically do a workout for 15 minutes with a waist trainer you might find out that you're not able to do more than seven minutes so make sure you're not sabotaging your results and lose the waist trainers for high intensity interval workouts and just limit it to low intensity workouts like walking and anything that doesn't require you to be like <sighs> I hope you listen avoid throwing your waist trainer into the washing machine always try to hand wash it just soak it in a sink for a short time and use a soft brush to just brush it up so that any dirt that are stuck on it will go away and then the sweat of course will be washed away do not throw it in a washing machine if you don't want to damage the flexi steel and the mechanism that actually helps your fats to be molded next tip for you to see actual results you need to be consistently wearing your waist trainer for a 30 day period of course not 24 Four hours per day i'm saying eight hours a day for 30 days that way you will see visible results from your waist training the ninth and final tip that makes people think that waist trainers help them lose weight waist trainers would actually help you curb your appetite because the stomach is like a balloon and the more food you pump into your stomach the more it expands but when you're wearing a waist trainer what happens is that the waist trainer is keeping your stomach in check and not allowing you to expand as much so you will not be conscious of what you are eating because you don't want to bust and of course less calories going into your body would typically translate to you not adding extra weight please smash the like button if you are getting value from this video because youtube algorithm would recommend it to more people and then i get more viewers and more watch time on my channel support me guys please let me know down in the comments your thoughts on working out with waist trainers have you worked out with waist trainers before if you did what was your experience like did it work and i'd really love to hear from you and i'll see you in the next video Video. bye guys to know the right measurements of waist to make hmm, waist trainer <laughs> okay